Hello everyone, welcome to IELTS, computer-based and what to expect on a test day. It is located in IDP, uh, it's only in Adelaide and Melbourne, so this is the only place that offered computer-based test. It is located in 170 Queen Street, Melbourne, and it is on the seventh floor. So the time sh that you should be there, you should be there around 8.30 or not later than 8.30. Uh, it, it would be great if you will be there before that time so you can relax and sit down and just prepare yourself for the test. Once you get there, there's a toilet where you can use a bathroom and they also have a locker. So you will be instructed to put your lockers in a, a number um controlled locker where you can put your belongings in and you just type four digit number and it all will be safe the next step to do is document check you will be um standing in line to have your passport check one by one so after your passport will be checked you will uh, have your finger scanned four times in a finger scanner and then you will be asked to sit down next to the wall and have your uh, photographed. After being photographed, you will be uh, asked to go to the waiting room and you will wait there for the instruction and other test takers. Sometimes there are test takers that are late. So around nine, uh, before nine o'clock, you should um, start. So after the test takers are all in the, uh, in the waiting room they will be instructed to go in four by by alphabetical order so it's by name so if you are if your name starts with a then you will be called first you will then uh, assign to a seat where it's look like it looks like a cubicle you will be assigned to that seat you will be putting your passport on the on the side corner and then you will be asked to put a headphone covers just for hygiene protection. And then the invigilator will have some instruction for you. Like um, they will give a, a piece of paper where your details are in there where you used to log in. And also you will be provided with a pencil. In a listening test, you you will be entering your details in the computer so you will have to wait until it's all finished and also you will adjust the volume and then you will be instructed on when to start on the start of the listening test you have 30 minutes allowance all up for the whole test but mind there's no time allowed to transfer any answers so uh, so um, as soon as you listen or at the same time you have to an, uh, answer and put your answers on the on the computer you have one minute allowance to check your answers in part one part two and part three but in part four there's only 30 seconds to check your answers but at the end there's two minutes to check all your answers so be mindful with your spelling and uh, plurals and singulars because this is very important there's no toilet break in between so you are allowed to go to the toilet when before five minutes until the finish starts when it's only five minutes left you are not allowed to go to the toilet but the time do you use to go to the toilet toilet is included in your test time so be mindful with using your time and just a a friendly reminder just use the toilet before you start the exam in the reading section you will log in uh, again in uh, in the screen and and the login details are also provided in the uh, in the paper the allowed time for reading is 60 minutes you will use that 60 minutes um, all up uh, it's up to you on how you manage your time but the computer will automatically close when the time is up. In writing, you will also have to log in your details 
and when it is correct you will be instructed to start and the time allocated for writing is 60 minutes so you have 60 minutes to finish task 1 and task 2 you can start either task 1 or, or task 2 it's up to you but I would suggest you start with task 2 because it has a bigger mark but it's up to you it's all depends on your convenience and also the computer automatically close when the time is up in speaking it you can have a break after the writing test but it depends on what time you choose to do your speaking test with um, you can either choose the ones that is 12 o'clock which is exactly after the writing test or you can choose the one o'clock or one 20 in the afternoon the same thing or the same process you're going to follow when you do the speaking test you will have to f um, fall in line again and you do just the finger scanning as well as the par passport scanning after your passport has been checked you will do the finger scanning and you will be asked to wait in the waiting area it doesn't take long before the examiner come and and get you to do the speaking test once the examiner will come he will um, walk you through the testing room and then there you will sit in a chair and uh, with the examiner it is a very closed room so it's a very good uh, place to do the speaking test because no one can hear or the door is closed so it's very good so don't stress do your best and good luck with your exam thank you and goodbye